everyone, Sebastian here from Green Music Productions. Have you ever wanted to get the perfect riser for your track, or maybe a massive kick drum sound? Or if you're working on a trailer or video game SFX, you would like to get this perfect whoosh sound for what you're working on? Well, today we're taking a look at Phoenix from Virtu. It's a rise hit and whoosh builder, but it does a lot more than that. So if you like that kind of stuff, please click the like button and subscribe. And before we start, let's hear about today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. With thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including illustration, design, video, freelancing, and obviously music. Whether it's music theory, learning an instrument, music production, even the music business, there's a ton of content on there. There's even specific things like how to make beats, how to design great synth sounds, or even Cubase specific videos. To give you an example, I've been following this class by Will Edwards called Wavetable Sound Design Strategy, and it's really insightful. It gives you a lot of tools to create better synth sounds. Now most classes are under 60 minutes with short lesson to fit any schedule. So I'll leave a link in the description below. The first thousand people to use the link will get a free one month trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Make sure to check it out and keep learning. Now it is a contact library, but you don't need to have the full version of contact. You can just get the free player version of contact. And if you scan the library, it will appear over here. You can just drag and drop it in your contact and it looks like this. Now you have four layers that you can trigger at the same time and you can have two different sounds per layer. So up to eight sounds playing at the same time if you want. And it's beautiful what it can do. But before we start, let's hear a couple of presets that comes with the software. So this is a massive whoosh with a hit at the end. We love that kind of stuff. So the presets are separated by hit, riser, or whoosh. So let's listen to some hits. Uh, let's try uh, the beast. Great sound and textures there. Uh, let's try another one. Let's say percussion uh, crimson. That's great. Let's listen to a couple of risers now. Some airy risers uh, certified. Let's try this one. Cool stuff. Now let's try a pitched riser just uh, for fun. These are really creative. Now let's listen to a couple of whooshes. Um, let's try some low air jet fly. So this sounds like a spaceship is passing by. We love those. And now industrial just for fun. And the beautiful thing is all of those samples, all of those presets, I can decide if I want the length to be longer. So we can split it in beat or seconds if we want. So let's change it to seconds. Right now it's at two seconds. So let's make it super long. Let's say 13 seconds. So you can really create some epic textures and risers with it. And now let's make it 0.5 seconds. So it's the same samples, but now it's gonna be super short. So it has a lot of possibilities when it comes to timing. We love that. Now, uh, these sections can either be separated as rise and hit, or one big whoosh, as I said earlier. And the beautiful thing is you have controls over all the banks. So let's go back to the initial preset. As you can see, this one has 
eight SFX, so four risers with four hits. And each one has an on off mute solo. Uh, it's really useful if you just want to listen to this sound right here. You have volumes, pan, and attack. So these are basically fade ins and fade out. And you can also stretch it or shrink it if you want and move it around. So let's say this portion I just want it to play at the beginning and this one at the end. It's super easy to do. So we love that. Uh, it's always useful to have those options. And if you want, instead of having a hit, you can always mirror the sound. So what it does is it reversed it and it put it afterwards. So let's listen to it now. So it basically creates a whoosh with the exact same sound. So that's really cool. And one thing that is important to know is um, if you don't have the keyboard here at the bottom uh, part, you can always click here and enable the keyboard or just press F3. It is really useful because you have different keys that you can use. The orange one will play all the layers, uh, the risers and the hits at the same time. So let's listen to what it does. If you press the green one, it will play all the risers, but it will stop before the hits. And if you play just the blue one, it will play just the hits. So if you're designing a big kick, kick drum, for example, you can use the blue key to trigger a kick drum and tweak the different samples as you go. If you're designing a riser, you can just use the green key and design your risers. Now we have even more keys. We have purple keys. These are separated by layers, but you can trigger the different layers individually. So the purple ones will play at the different layers but they will play the riser and the hit the yellow ones will play the, the different layers but only the risers the blue one it will be just the hits so if you want to listen to specific uh sfx without having to press the solo button you can use those keys the purple one is also really interesting let's say i have a super long uh, whoosh sound and i don't want to have to listen to 13 seconds before it transitions to the hit the purple one will play right before the transition so you can listen to that transition and make sure that it sounds good so this is uh, pretty cool but now how can you tweak those sounds and make it your own the first thing that i want to look at is this down arrow right here because you can just easily drag and drop some sfx there so let's bring in some wave files um, Let's try this one for fun. Let's drag and drop it over here. Now I just loaded this sound right here. So these have multiple sound effects in one wave file. I just drag and drop a random SFX, but it's still really cool that you can bring on all of your own samples. It's super easy to drag and drop and it works. So after that, as I said earlier, you can always tweak the volume, panning and uh, attack. But if you click on edit over here, you have even more options. You can filter, let's say uh, this SFX, I don't want to have high frequencies. I can tweak it. I can reduce some low frequencies as well. Because when you layer multiple SFX all at once, it can get really messy if they're all heavy on the low end. So this is an important feature to have. You also have a pitch. So I can pitch it down three octave if I want, or I can pitch it up and create some really interesting textures. And what's beautiful is that the hits also have a uh, speed. So these hits can play faster if you want. So you can make them have all of their separate output. And in your DAW, you'll be able to use plugins and treat them separately. So that's really, really nice to have that option. Now, uh, you also have a tail button over here. What it does is, let's say I uh, go back to the main tab. What happens is when the riser stops, it will stop abruptly to let room for the hit. But if you enable the tail, uh, what will happen is that the texture from the riser will keep playing even on the hit. So let's listen to it. 
So right now, the hit is not even playing, so... It can be useful because sometimes the hits have a really different tone or texture than the riser. So if you want it to match well with the riser, you can always enable that option. It's super useful. If I disable it, uh, just to compare, it really stops abruptly. But now let's say you just want to change uh, this SFX and you don't want to bring in your own samples. You want to use the huge pool of samples that comes with Phoenix. Well, you can go under sample and you can just select the bank that you want to tweak. Or if you're on time, you can just double click over here and it will open the sample window. Now in the sample window, you have different tags. So you can decide if you want a complex or simple sound, intense, tonal, non-tonal, airy, sci-fi. So let's try a sci-fi simple sound. And if you enable this button right here, you'll be able to hear the different uh, samples. So let's say I like this one, I can just double click on it and now it's over here. Now let's change the hit. So as you can see, when I switched, it, it detected that now I'm now on a hit engine. So it changed all the sample libraries. So let's try a drum hit with sub. This is great. So now if I just solo these, I just design a this layer right here and it's super simple. Um, you also have the option to have one big whoosh sound instead of having a riser and a hit. So if you prefer that, you can click on whoosh and now it's only going to give you some whoosh sounds. So if I play it again, So I can have different banks trigger one riser and one hit while this one is triggering only one big riser. Now, as I said earlier, you can tweak uh, if you want to compress or stretch the sample. So with whooshes, you can really move them around and stretch them, make sure they match with the rest of the sounds. This is great. <laughs> So it's super easy to use and as usual, you can edit all the settings, even if it's a whoosh. But now let's move to the mod section. As you can see, we have one, two, three and four right besides the different uh, layers. These are effects that can be modulated. So right now, the effect one is attributed to pan, two is volume, three is pitch, four is reverb. So if I enable one, it's going to apply a pan with the modulation that I select. So let's say I choose LFO one. I can tweak it over here, change the LFO to triangle and uh, change the timing. So let's say frequency. And I can uh, add a fade if I don't want it to kick in right away. So let's try a sawtooth. So it's panning uh, from left to right, and you can change those effects. There's much more than just those four effects. You can add a pan, low pass, high pass, band pass, multi band pass, lo fi, and distortion. Lo fi has a bit rate and sample rate. And as I said, you have two LFOs and two sequencers. So if I uh, want to draw my own curve and draw it right there, that's amazing and you can change obviously the sample rate and the bit rate you can change the amount so it is really powerful and you can do the same with everything else so let's say i want to apply a pitch a modulation effect sounds beautiful it's great I can add a reverb and make sure it kicks in just at the end. That's great. I love that kind of stuff. But that's not all. On top of the modulation effect, you also have regular effects. So you can apply effects to the different banks 
or to the master section if you want. So obviously on the master section, it's always a good idea to put a limiter to make sure it's not clipping. You can stereo spread it if you want. Make it super wide. <laughs> That's always useful. And you have a bunch of things like EQ, uh, phase, chorus, saturation, compression, limiter, delay, reverb, all the good stuff. But you also have some specific effects depending on if you're tweaking a riser or a hit. So on the riser, you also have a screamer, a flare. These are really interesting effects. So let's solo this one. So I can tweak it. So you can really design some interesting sound with that. Uh, screamer is kind of a distortion. I'll lower the output. Change the tone. And you also have other effects. And if we go uh, take a look at the hits, you have a transient designer. These are always useful on hits. So it's really powerful. It's not only for whooshes, hits, and risers, but also uh, for all kinds of sound uh, design. It's really nice what you can do with it. At the day of recording of this video, it is $199.95, but make sure you take a look at their website. They also have other really cool libraries. If you like that kind of stuff, click the like button and subscribe. And as usual, see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.